honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. All mother, hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Welcome back to I Am Hungry. Gonna continue Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, last time we battled a sawtooth, kind of like a saber tooth, but a, a beast or a machine. And um, yeah, gonna continue it today. I think we're heading to Motherland. I haven't streamed in a pretty much a week. Yeah, I've been kind of busy doing some randos. Not really random, but some side stuff. Now, if I don't have some time, continue to play. Have some fun. How's everyone doing? I think Final Fantasy is coming out this. Huh? To my screen. Oh, Final Fantasy is coming out this week, too. I should want to play that. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. They can't hear. Okay, Let's go. Ooh, kind of loud. Uh, I don't remember how to play again. So just beat Sawtooth. Now this is morning time. Graphics for such an old game, though. Well, I guess you kind of expect that, right? Uh, I think same people from Killzone, which was a good game back then. I really liked it. Too bad I didn't really became hit like uh, Call of Duty, huh? I think they make sand. They're about to attack. Mr. Let's see. Everything seems like it's always full. I need to start selling some stuff. What's up, buddy? Boom. Is 
he really? Guess he tried. I was about to. Are they really still here? Wow. What is that? Bright light. <laughs> Throws his whole body at me. Julio. Look at the cabin. Nice relaxing sound. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. One second. Okay. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Uh oh. Here. Take this. To remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This, Ooh. this is goodbye. Then good riddance. But I will find you. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. 
Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. Who? I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. <sighs> and you. I have to let him go. For now. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Ooh. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora Ooh. hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? <laughs> chosen. Aloy! Well, it's you, isn't it? Right, Over here. I could have one more easy. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. Mm. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Hmm. Nice. Nora Brave is free of charge. This box must be open to real as content. 
A box hold free items set aside for new customers. The box is open to view of contents. It's like loot box. Buy back. Okay. I wonder can I sell all these like how do I know if I'm full? Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa right. said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. You know, it might be time for you to find a soft fur. Up. You really think the cards you want to make peace? Get down from there! Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go Listen climbing carefully. houses? Oh, For you'll have not to tell supposed this when to go climbing on other people's In roofs, huh? All life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts. All were her children. They lived alongside each other. Huh. In the company nice. of her wild embrace. <laughs> This just doesn't compare to five years ago. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart, I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you, if you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck.
always happy to take your shards. Metal burn. 30 out of 30. All right. I need to sell. Metal burn. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. Thank you. This carja outside is going to sacred land. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude Written Killers by and the slavers! Of yeah! Sun King yeah. Of Killers and slavers! Uh, hey, hey! Luminance of Hold your fruit, Nora. Uh, Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Mm. Who killed him? Mm. The 14th. <laughs> yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message this, this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th kid. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> The Karja stand with He's you. wearing a focus, as the sun just like mine. Frames the stoutest trees. As those you have Where did you find a focus? Take their places You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. <clears throat> Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Oh, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn. You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. Hmm. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. 
I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. Yeah, it looks like an earpiece, huh? What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. I might even give the Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Oh. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but <laughs> it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart, you're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Hmm. Everyone got their arm crossed. Whoa. Ah, uh, don't let you go up. now for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone get in down from there now oh that's Last just what you boss. want is it for me to fall on my head what I want is for you to climb down what you want is for me to have no fun at all fine stay up on the roof all night if you want yeah I will sorrows behind Best of the time.
blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern no. crafted by your mother. In her honor, He's the light smiling. its flame. Mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Oh my God. Everyone always says last year's best thing is better. Every year. Hello, Olin. Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. Hmm. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Bast is going to win. Just look at him. Who's Bast? Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift, indeed. But you don't believe in all mother, do you? Usually the, the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. 
Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us, though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it reemerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. Who are you, Sun Priest? I am the Reverend Ereed. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We Sun Priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> my apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the Sun King. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. Hmm. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the Mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where I'll end up. Who is the Sun King you speak for? His luminance, Avad, is the fourteenth king of the Radiant Line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the Chosen of the Sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. <laughs> we are his instruments, not his companions. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun, he has total power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. If your sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Uh, well, the sun's glory is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, Indeed, in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else? Oh, no, no, no. Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the sun to choose a queen? <laughs> this has not happened. Why not? The sun is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here? Well, Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman, and an outsider as well. She might make a fine Sun Queen, given a chance. A Sun Queen? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No. Uh, so funny. This guy. This has been illuminating, but I should get going. Uh, you have already been blessed, but... May the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path.
I like this better than the pooping itself. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, so mean. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very pregnant here! <sighs> I don't even know what that is. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw enough. you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> well, wow, sounds like um, Don the Viral, huh? Don the guy. What's this? What's this? What's this? Nope. Wait. Him. I'm supposed to go to bed. Where's my bed? So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? Oh, friend. You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Yourselves. 
What will it take to get you out of here? Looks like a grazer. Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around and climb back. I can't see! I don't want to do this stuff. Where am I supposed to go? Is still this way? Come on now! Stop dragging. Oh, gotta keep going. That cat. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. Hurry, keep at it. She is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. 
but it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. <laughs> I don't have to do it all over. Yes. I've been too greedy for the items, huh? Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there?
many are there? Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there? You can't even... Descend while we have a chance. Get back! able to hit him and heal at the same time. Too bad, I could have used this gun. Thanks. <laughs> 
You just go down too. have found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? <sighs> my clothes. Good. But where's my focus? are allowed inside. <laughs> I... I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that... killer. Where are they? I wonder having a mountain a part like this. <laughs> I should keep looking. Here. 
I'm not gonna find it here. Up some kind of signal. It looks like the ruins I fell into when I was young. There, with the rest of my things. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Sorry, but High Matriarch Tirsa gave strict orders that you were not to leave without her. Hmm. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. Mm -hmm. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. Great chamber, where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you. 
Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. Hmm. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... This isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. Oh. Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Please. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. <laughs> I meant to scan. Party defeated. The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then what's your plan? This. This was my plan to show you where you were born, and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, 
Join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Wow, she's so mean. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, hmm. what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the Embrace. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. So, I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. Or the ruins of the metal world. I see. What was... done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was... very little left to recover. But what there was... we buried at the place where he raised you with flowers on the grave. Thank you. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked, like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder all mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of Allmother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, Allmother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. I should be on my way. Hmm. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, Make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. 
May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora faithful. We will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness the for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. You, when we, we hear the matriarchs we lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. Faithless is too good a word for them. May they be forgotten to be on duty all day. Stocking up. I hope our mother will heed our song. I'll find a use for you. Oh, a raccoon? A raccoon bomb. That's crazy. Did anyone ever eat a raccoon? Children. No. Oh, boy. No space. Mother will forgive us. She will. We'll see. Should have brought a cart. Corruption spreading across the land. Now the valley's sealed off. Aloy is your name, yes? We heard how you fought. All Mother, bless you. Mother be praised. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're alive. Ignore her. Oh, that's a big oh, that was a story. There are rumors of yeah. a demon loose in the embrace. A, a thing of that's dark metal. metal that corrupts every machine it touches. Where did it come from? They say it broke through the gates of the embrace. Who is they? They tried to stop it, but the demon was too fast. Too powerful. Charles a fool to defend that gate. Forget about traveling here. It's mother's watch that would make our stand. So far, eight groups so have arrived. I don't know what's going on. But two groups have more. Good. All true Nora will lift their voice. <laughs> Coming down. I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded, expected to die. And then 
High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost. The man who raised me. He... He fought to save me and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? Why wouldn't Resh help me? Well, he says mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Hmm. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart. A tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the Proving, but... She died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes. She was. I liked her. So did I. I should be on my way, Teb. Be safe, Aloy. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? I recognize you from the Proving. You saw Boss shatter my trophy. And you did nothing. You would speak ill of the dead? Truly you have no shame. I nearly put an arrow through your eye. And you threaten me in front of witnesses? When the High Matriarchs hear of this, you'll be an outcast all over again. I've been anointed a Seeker, so open the gate. You? A Seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the Proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the Sacred Mountain? No wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. You are a nobody? Woohoo. Watch your tongue. You dishonor the dead. Ooh, this guy's... Ugh. Oh, this is hard to pick. I want to say you're a nobody. If you think Tirsa and Jezza are traitors, why don't you head up the mountain and say that to their faces? Or do you only talk big when your superiors aren't around? I am the Nora War Chief. And I am a seeker, so do as you're told and open the gate. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? T-Rex. The demon! So 
on the alarm! My goddess, what's it doing to them? Get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad! from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Rest says. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Braves! I want that gate repaired immediately! I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done! Save these for the trail. Test this override device.
Okay, I'll uh, end it here today. Well, let's see, top three recaps from today. Too bad the story with from um, Russ won't continue. But he did a good thing, like saving her. That was a pretty cool uh, movie kind of like uh, scene. Another one is the uh, proven was actually pretty cool. That to run across is kind of like a little racing game in some ways, or racing type of uh, trial. It's pretty nice. And the last one is when you fight that demon robot. The map or some of the cabins and stuff is destructible. That's actually pretty cool. But they put it like that. Uh, why are we even wondering? That's some nice the little details. Okay, um, I'm gonna continue again tomorrow. Day one at 7:30 tomorrow. Bye.